What's going on guys? It's Michael Bears and wait. Hold on a second. So today I want to talk to you guys about personal nutrition. I wanted to kind of just bring it from a different angle, just kind of change it up a little bit. And I also have three websites here that I want to kind of go that kind of go along with what I want to talk about today. I, I took some notes on them, so I just want to go through and show you guys actually what these websites are, and then also talk about the notes that I took on them and and some of my thoughts on on personalized nutrition because I feel like personalized nutrition is going to be the way that nutrition is going to go because everybody has different needs, everybody has different different body types, different just different different lifestyles. Maybe or if somebody has a certain illness, like maybe a certain uh, a certain nutritional. A, a, a certain nutritional plan might be better for them. So I just want to kind of bring up these three websites that I found just doing some some research and and also if you guys have any thoughts on these leave your comments below. I'd be I'd be glad to read what you guys have to say about them or just about personalized nutrition in general, but I just want to get into these websites and the first website I want to talk about is this one that is actually from Israel. It's, it's Wiseman Institute of Science and they have something called the Personalized Nutrition Project. They, if you guys could see it here, um, they actually have uh, a, a section where you could join the study that that they're doing. Right now, it's 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 in more of like a trial phase, so you could actually join the study that they're doing, and just to kind of show you guys what it's all about. So, like this website is personalizednutrition.org. I'll have I'll have, I'll have all the links to the websites in the description below. But as you can see, they kind of go through and talk about why they why they would start a project that would be geared towards personalized nutrition. So the basis of this of this website was kind of talking about why different people react differently to different foods and how that might affect their blood sugar levels. So what you could do in that you could apply to you could register to be in this study and then uh, upon registering they'll give you a personalized nutrition application that you could go into and track your food um, track your activity levels and and stuff like that which is sh uh, shown right here. And then at the end of that, they'll they'll give you a detailed summary of um, of like your of your nutrition plan of, and how different foods affected your glucose levels. So I just think this is really interesting because you know different like I said, different people are going to react differently to food, and I feel like it's 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 almost counterintuitive to have to have a one size fits all nutrition basis. So like with the food pyramid, like I feel like it's it's I feel like it's more helpful to be able to personalize nutrition to what somebody's like in this instance how somebody's glucose levels might be affected by certain foods they eat or they also talk about uh, analysis of gut microbe composition so how maybe how your how your body breaks down certain foods um, they also look into that and then the study overall if you want to take part in it that they'll give you a, um, a glucometer so that'll keep track of your blood glu glucose levels and if you guys want to look more into this um, this is like I said I'll have the links in, in the description below but I want to go into the next website now and talk about. I felt I found this one really interesting because I didn't think there was anything out there that was really. I mean, this like I said, this website that I found here was it is in Israel, so I didn't really know if there was any in the United States yet that are that are going towards personalizing nutrition. But I actually found this um, website called Habit, and I found it from reading um, this article in the uh, Popular Science magazine. They actually um, they talk about some stuff in here that I'm going to go back to. But um, this so Habit is was it actually is actually a California startup company, and I just want to read some of the notes I have just to go through it. So I'll go through also on the screen like how it works. So they the they send you it's a three hundred dollar kit, and they send you different uh, tests that you could that you could do at home. It's, it's blood samples. Um, you drink a um, you drink a shake. They send you actually. I'll see if I could find it here really quick so you guys can see it. But basically, they'll they'll send you this kit and you'll you'll run the, you'll run these tests that they give you. You'll send it back to their certified lab, and then yeah, so they send you the shake that, that you're supposed to drink, and then you take your your blood test and then um, send it all back to them, and then they'll give you feedback on that. But based on the results that they find from the from the blood samples and everything that you send back to them, they'll create a report tailored to to how you respond to food, which is right here. So the results that they get, they'll tailor a plan to you, and then you can also be provided with coaching if you want to go go more into depth with how you want to create your nutrition your, your nutrition plan after um, seeing seeing your results from the different blood samples and stuff that they took. 
and then they could also go to, go as far as doing meal delivery um, specified to again how you reacted to certain foods or how how your body is or what foods your body would would most likely benefit from and then something I found interesting though is that they haven't the right here it says the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics does not recommend nutrigenetic testing right now um, and that's basically because there haven't been enough studies that sh that provide enough evidence that show taking uh, samples of someone's genes and looking at their genes is actually proof enough to tailor a diet to them. So I feel like um, this is just going to come with time and, and doing more uh, scientific uh, research on it and, and finding more evidence before nutrigenetic testing actually takes place in um, like commercially. But like I said, that's why I found this this habit um, company interesting because they seem like they're ahead of not necessarily ahead in that in that it's proven or that it works, but they're ahead in the in terms of the business side of already having a business that could do uh, that could look at your genes or look at look at your biology and see how certain food certain foods affect your blood glu glucose levels and and see what foods might be best for your body type and and just your body overall. So uh, again, I feel like the science, like like this article says, has to kind of catch up with. Um, with providing evidence that that these that this type of testing is actually going to be beneficial in the long run, uh, in terms of creating a personalized nutrition or a, a personalized diet, that's what I wanted to go through and talk about today with personalized nutrition. And I feel like this is something that really excites me because, like I've I've thought about like why like how diet can can benefit somebody more, um, you know, rather than just giving them like certain foods to eat. Or you know, based based on like a food pyramid or something like that. Like actually having, actually knowing that there is that there is science and there's research being done out there to actually tailor nutrition to somebody's specific needs. I feel like that's really interesting, and I feel like that is what's gonna that is going to be like the 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 future of nutrition and diet is is not necessarily like a like following a food pyramid or a one size fits all plan. It's going to be tailored towards how how somebody could benefit from specific foods that might affect their body differently. So again, I feel like uh, um, this is this is a really interesting topic to talk about. And if you guys, again, if you guys have any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know if you guys like this, this point of view too. I just wanted to again, change it up and also just kind of show you guys the websites I found. And like I said, I'll link, the, I'll link these in the description below. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Stay tuned Wednesday. I'm gonna be talking about, talking about getting into my first experiment experiment for dunking so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video